Hey, are you brushing your huh? teeth? You gotta take care of those things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I well, okay, I ran out of uh, toothbrushes cool. two months ago, so I've been I've been using my finger. You see, two working all right. I wait a second. Hold on. Ah, a tooth. I lost a tooth. Ah, ah, ah. YouTube, this is Praxis Prepper. Just the other day, Amber went into a um, oral surgeon. She's got to get her wisdom teeth taken out. What would that be like during a collapse environment? Amber's going to get hers out, but River someday will have some. If things have gone to shit. The world's like crazy when River needs to have his wisdom teeth taken out. God, that'd suck. I don't have an easy solution to that one. Got this book. Where there is no dentist. I haven't really looked through it yet. Oh. Medical stuff sucks, doesn't it? Well, as far as taking care of your teeth, there's a lot of other things you have to worry about post SHF than your uh, you know, wisdom teeth if they haven't been taken out of your kids, more likely. Uh, one of them is just simple stuff. Brushing your teeth. It's just about time my, my toothbrush is getting a little bit old, and uh, it's ready to be replaced. Um, now, I've got this. Now, now, Prepper, of course I've got several dozen toothbrushes in a, in a bag. It's probably only a couple dozen, though. That, that really wouldn't last you that long. If it was like, you know, Tio Tawaki or whatever the hell they call it. I mean, I don't know. We have a family of three of us? We'd probably go through that after a while. But uh, I've got this, too. And it comes down to... Replacing this, uh, let me just pop the head out of these guys. This is the only part you have to toss with these. These are uh, uh, fucks. They're fucks toothbrushes. See, it says it right there. Fucks. I, who did the marketing on this? It's like, I'm not sure what to call our company. Why don't we call it fucks? <laughs> I don't know, maybe you're supposed to pronounce it a little differently than that, but dude, you rush fucks on the toothbrush. Anyhow, got a whole bag of these. The uh, toothbrush heads. Now that store is a lot smaller than that. I've got more replacement toothbrushes head brush heads in here than this thing. So and I could obviously fill that bag more. Maybe I should have more. That's not overkill enough for a prepper, is it? This thing should be like packed full. Anyway, I gotta get a new one in my toothbrush right now. These are great though. Just snap it right in, and now it's a new toothbrush again. I, of course, got into this to save the world, because you know, every time you don't throw out the toothbrush handle, you're saving the world. Just like when you buy bamboo cutting board, saving the world, you know. <laughs> That's honestly actually why I got into it. I didn't like throwing out the whole toothbrush, but it's great uh, for for prepping and stockpiling because they're they're so much smaller. And, uh, I don't I don't end there though. Dental floss labeled nicely. Oh, dental floss that'll last a while. Each one of these is like I don't know how many. I think it's a hundred yards, three hundred yards. Or something like that. I don't know. Get this one. Ugh, this one's a little heavier. Toothbrushes and toothpaste. A lot of toothpaste in there. You know one of the things I like about prepping is I'm set in the toothpaste department and the toothbrush department and the dental floss department. I don't have to run out to the store. Now you may love running to the store and buying toothbrushes when you need them or getting dental floss, but it just doesn't do it for me. And the fact that I'm like done for my life, I could probably get a few more of those. But the fact that I'm pretty much done for my life buying toothbrushes, I am not going to miss that. I'm not shedding a tear over the idea that I'm never going to get to walk down the toothbrush aisle again and buy one. So, yeah, I think it's a good idea to just stock stuff so you just run down to your basement and get things. But also, for SHTF. Now, if you ever did run out of toothbrushes, there is an alternative that you can do for brushing your teeth. It's really important to keep your teeth clean. I think I should show you that one outside. Ah, here we go. Here's one. Uh, this 
is black birch. It's one of my favorite trees. My, my walking stick I made out of black birch just because I'm so fond of it. You can tell black birch because it smells like, like birch beer, kind of like root beer if you break into it. It's a really nice smell. Uh, you take black birch, or also willow, I know willow works for this. Take it, break off a piece like that, and uh, just chew it. Now, in black birch, a little bark, in black birch, there's a chemical called xylitol, and it's actually what's used in a lot of uh, teeth cleaning gums, xylitol gum. They can extract it from black birch. Maybe they do extract it all from black birch. I don't know if there's a synthetic source, but there's xylitol in, in black birch, and it's good for your teeth. It's what makes it sweet. But as you chew it up, and be careful when you do this, because you don't want to get like splinters between your teeth, because we're, we're doing this like post-SHTF. We don't have any floss, and we don't have any dental uh, toothbrushes and stuff, so we're making our own. So, you know, you get something stuck between your teeth, you're in trouble, because <laughs> uh, it's hard to get stuff out. But just kind of keep rotating it, chewing it up, and see, it turns it kind of into like a paintbrush, like that. While you're chewing, you're getting that xylitol into your, into your teeth. That's helpful. But eventually, it turns into a little brush for your teeth. A little toothbrush. So, like I said, you can do this with black birch. I've also heard that uh, uh, willow. Willow is pretty effective. The tannins in the willow is, is helpful for your, for your teeth as well. I have, a lot, I have a lot of black birch in this area, and it tastes good. So I like using that. But it's a really effective little toothbrush that you can make. It's hard to get the back sides. Just maybe you can kind of bend it like that. Uh, yeah, it kind of works. <laughs> I guess I could break off a little piece and kind of come from the back there. But it's got the xylitol. Good for your teeth. A little bit of physical abrasion going on with this little brush. You can already see a little fluffy little brush going on there. So it's a good way of doing it if you didn't think to stock a million ass toothbrushes. That's it. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and tune in every Friday at 4.30 New York time for a new video.